What's going on my fellow Avengers Squad members? Now today we will be discussing the new league gameplay that came from Comic Con dealing with Marvel's Avengers. Now before we get into the video, I want you guys to know I have a Discord called Avengers Squad. Basically we go over everything dealing with Marvel's Avengers. We go over theories, things that'd be cool to add in the game, costumes, and etc. So if you guys want to join or want to know how to join, all you gotta do is click the link below and all that's it. That's all you have to do. It's so simple. Now, if you don't want to, it's okay, I understand. I appreciate you for clicking on the video anyway. Now, make sure you turn on post notifications and subscribe to the channel so you know whenever I go live or upload a video. And I just want to let you guys know, uh, thank you for making me hit 600 subscribers. That is something I thought I would not hit. I started this year off with 141 subscribers, so that's really a big accomplishment for me. So I really appreciate everyone that subscribed to the channel and just watch my videos. Now, today's uh, gameplay will be coming from Comic Con. Like I said, someone fi uh, finally leaked it. I knew it was going to happen. Somebody was going to leak it. But also, they, they did have a not a good enough quality, but you could tell they were trying to hide it from the security because the way they had it positioned. Because also, we didn't get to see no gameplay for Black Widow as well. Because it seemed like he, the dude cuts off the video as soon as it was finna start getting to gameplay for Black Widow. I'm guessing the security guard probably saw him or something, or he saw that the security guard was going to come up close to him or something, so we didn't get to see no Black Widow gameplay, sadly. But we did get to see Thor, Iron Man, and Hulk, and Captain America, by the way, so we're going to start off with Thor. Now, for Thor, I get God of War vibes off of him with his combos, his airborne combos, and etc. Because the way he does it, he launches enemies in the air and it does follow-up attacks. You know with his hammer and all that and it, it does uh imbues with electricity sometimes i'm guessing that's a skill that you unlock later on you do uh combos your uh mjolnir start doing more damage i'm getting now also i have to talk about this the way his hammer works it is really fun and it's just like god of war i promise it i promise it is if you guys seen the gameplay you know what i'm talking about now this man throws his hammer tosses it and like he really tosses that enemy across the map like the dude was on top of a bus he was throwing he get uh getting his hammer ready you know twisting it and just throws it at him and he goes flying like he go <laughs> he's definitely dead to be honest the dude was go flying it is crazy now after that he it seems like uh after uh thor throws his hammer at the enemy and leaves him on a um bus or uh, uh the vehicle that the enemies were in it seemed like when he was doing um hits with his uh fist it seemed like after like two or three hits you're uh, you're you start doing more damage or your hands get uh imbued with electricity a lot and you start doing more damage i'm guessing now i don't know if you could chain with this um this ability with chain lightning or something when you're doing it but i you able to see it that every time you hit every time he got like above like a three hit three or a two hit his hands start getting imbued with electricity and i guess it does more damage now after this he saves an enemy i mean it saves a civilian now with the regular how you save civilians you press a button or you, you randomly you tap it multiple times or you just tap it one time and you save the civilian and it also, after this he destroys the debris to get to the next uh, wave of enemies now when it comes to this I think this is the first look we ever get to see of Odin Force or it's just another ability now with this when he changes his ability he goes up in the air and he says uh, are you guys worthy or something I'm not really sure what it was I was ba barely able to hear the audio but when he does this his his uh, regular basic attacks with Mjolnir they start doing chain lightnings and they start doing lightning strikes to the enemies we hitting them like hitting enemies around them start getting hit with lightning now that is pretty cool when you really go on and think about it because that's good for enemies that you can't really hit get from behind you or something you can just hit them immediately where or your lightning strike can hit them or your chain lightning can hit them so it's pretty cool I like the way it looked it so just hopefully when we get the the original the real good gameplay at the gamescon we can see how really you know amazing that that looks now we also get to see his ultimate ability now with thor's ultimate ability he uh spins his hammer uh, launches up in the air and the enemies get launched in the air with by tornadoes it look like and they all all the enemies that got launched in the air they get hit with lightning 
they all get struck by lightning and it just one shots them all now with this it goes on to Iron Man gameplay now I cannot really judge Iron Man gameplay so far when it comes to this flying because it starts off with him flying because I can't really get I can't really uh, say anything about it unless I get the feel of it myself so I'm not gonna say nothing about his flying but it's very cinematic I have to give it that it is very very cinematic when it comes to the enemy shooting at him everything exploding him doing barrel rolls through fire and all that it is very cinematic I have to give him that it is very cinematic now when, it, when he gets lands on the ground and does basic combos with his hand his fists and his repulsors you get a bit of an Iron Man 1 type vibe if you guys remember in Iron Man 1 he, when he went to the country that was using his weapons and they, um, you, basically when the tank shot at him he dodged it and shot a, a missile back at it during that when he was doing his regular com combos uh, defeating enemies so I got to, I peeped it it seemed like they've been using a lot of stuff from the movies a lot when it comes to the, uh, to the games I don't see nothing wrong with that but also when it, he goes into hovering and fighting his repulsors now when he goes if you guys remember in Thor gameplay when he was throwing his hammer it did it did like a little uh, dot in the middle of the screen where you you know it shoots your repulsors at, at a direct um, way or a way you can shoot them it's pretty you know it's pretty average it's, you know he's just hovering and firing repulsors so you can't really you know it's just something that Iron Man really does on a uh, daily so you can't really say nothing about it but after he finished hovering and fighting his repulsors we get to see his unibeam firsthand what it looks like and the thing is very destructive it is very very destructive and it's, the beam is so big if you guys seen the gameplay you know what I'm talking about the thing does damage excuse me like this man they had enemies on top of a, a truck it looked like a truck or a, a little van or bus and they had a, a car next to it and they had an enemy next to the car so when uh, when he did his unibeam he got he shot at the enemy that was by the car and when he was shooting it controlling it it exploded the car and then it started exploding the bus that because the bus was right next to the car so it's very destructive you could do some damage with it now it's really slow the way you got the beam so I'm guessing it'll be you pop that at the right opportunity when you can get multiple enemies out at once so you we gotta see how that is in the gameplay you gotta see how it is when you're fighting bosses how strong it'll be and all that so we'll see about that now it goes into when Iron Man is shooting his pellets, his uh, little mission, uh, his little uh, missile pellets from his hands. We get to see gameplay of that. It has a u uh, unique UI for that when you pop that uh, uh, specific ability. So that was really cool. Then it goes on to the the uh, cutscene from the A Day trailer when he gets shot by the the shockwave um, the shockwave trucks that is basically his tech, and then it switches on to the Hulk. Whew, he switches on to the Hulk. Man, when I say the cinematic for the Hulk before he turns, when he jumps off the uh, the Queen Jet like in A-Day trailer, it shows him transforming into the Hulk during he, while he was jumping. And he just slams, you know, this regular roar that we saw in the A-Day trailer. Now, as soon as he gets into his gameplay, this man grabs enemies and manhandles them. When I say manhandle, just think about it what he did to Loki in Avengers. That is in the game as well. He does that just by times 10. This man grabs them together, slams them real hard together. He grabs two, en two enemies at once and slams them real hard together. Now I noticed when he slammed them real hard together, like a little green mist came from it. I'm guessing that's his gamma, uh, like uh, from his ability innate rage that I did a video on. I'm guessing that's his uh, ability at work I'm guessing I'm not really sure but after he finished manhandling the enemies it goes on to him platforming now the way the article explain explain his platforming is not really like how it is in gameplay it is nothing really wrong with his uh, platforming the way he grabs on and just jumps and just you know grabs on and jumps he does it like four or five times it's pretty reminiscent of Incredible Hulk of 2007 when at the end of the scene when he was uh, jumping, doing platforming, escaping from the military after he defeated Abomination. So, I don't really see nothing wrong with it. I like it. I don't have no problem with it. Now, when he did his last jump, when enemies were uh, ne uh, near him, he charged up his hand and slammed on the ground, causing a shockwave. Now, following up with this, he does 
four ground pounds, and I'm guessing that's a new ability we don't know about. Now, when he does his four ground pounds, it does the same thing when you slam the two enemies together. It causes like a green mist, and with this, it, it launches the enemies up in the air, and it basically sends them flying. And since they're on the bridge, they fly off the bridge, so they basically did. But it goes on to the next ability. He, we got a lot of abilities for Hulk that was in his gameplay. He picks up the breeze from the ground, like rips it out of the ground, and use it to hit enemies with, and you know just do combos with. It's it's pretty cool seeing it, cause the way that way the way that Hulk model is in the game, he is like a giant compared to them small enemies. So it is really cool showing your dominance that you the Hulk, and you know you would really mess up some stuff. And bruh, they put this in the game. The thunderclap. They put the thunderclap in the game. The thunderclap is confirmed. Now with this, it basically he it looks like he builds up gam gamma radiation. He gets ready to clap, and he claps, and it releases all the gamma radiation and the shockwave that comes with the thunderclap. So it was really cool seeing that in action. Now after that, it goes into the the cutscene that we saw in A Day, where he picks up the tr uh, the, the truck with the shockwave emitters on it. He throw it, he throws it at the other truck and kicks the little end of Dominion off the bridge. So that's when it switches on to Captain America. Now Captain America gameplay is it's pretty cool. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I wasn't expecting Captain America gameplay to be that cool. Now it first starts off with him doing finishers to um you know regular enemies. He just fights them with regular combos and finishes them off with finishers. So Captain America has finishers. It is in the game. Now after he finished doing finishers to the enemies. Uh, uh, enemy throws a flashbang in the building uh, in the current room he's in and with this he throws his shield now I don't know if this is confirmed or not but every time Captain America throws his shield it goes white I'm guessing it's a good shield throw I'm guessing and every time he catches it and throws it back it does more damage and that's my little theory about it and also when you do that he does flashy moves when I see this man kicked it kick the shield back at him he throws the shield, it turns white, he throws it again, and when it comes back to him, he does like a little uh, a little karate kick, because he like spins and kick his, kicks it at the enemy and catches it. It is so... <sighs> Bruh. If you watch the gameplay, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This man was really flashy with his moves. Now, also, after that, more enemies come in from the side they uh, uh they jump in the they break through the glass w uh, walls of the helicarrier and break in now he also has a parry move when he does this it basically confirms that he has a parry move when the enemy comes up behind him so cap has a parry move it's probably it was basically it was basically you know kind of something that he would do because he's a he's a soldier so who wouldn't parry and also shows the ability with him blocking and when he blocks it, he punches the shield, causing a shockwave in front of him. Now, this is something that was in God of War as well. If you guys remember in God of War, when Kratos, he put up his shield, he hits it. Then he hits it again to do even more of a uh, bigger shockwave. So, that's really cool to see in the game. I wanted to go have it in the game as well when you, you could hit it two times and then do a bigger shockwave. Then after this, he gets ambushed by a lot of enemies at once. And that's when we get to see his ultimate ability. Now, we've seen his ultimate before. But if the, those who didn't, he basically gets, he grabs his shield, he grab, uh, he goes down and it starts to glow red. He does a little flip and it slams it on the ground to cause a big shockwave causing all the enemies to be flown back. And I guess that's a one KO for those type of enemies. I'm guessing it was on easy mode because it was just the one ability and it killed all the enemies at once or defeated them all at once. Then it switches on to Black Widow. But we didn't see no gameplay of her. All we saw was her running across the bridge and jumping on Taskmaster doing the quick time events. That's all we got to see. And we basically got to see that in the A-Day trailer as well. So it's nothing brand new, but that's what we got to saw. And then basically after that, the clip ended because I'm guessing the security guards was checking around to see if anybody was recording or not. So that's all we got to see when it comes to the new league gameplay. Now tell me guys if you guys have seen it. What do you guys think about Thor, Iron Man, and Hulk, and Captain America gameplay? Now, Thor gameplay is promising. Iron Man, we need more to see if it's really going to be that promising. Now, for Hulk, it's amazing. And Captain America is promising. I like the way his gameplay is. So, it's pretty good. I'm liking it so far. It's 
excuse me, it's building up the hype. I like the what I'm seeing. I remember all the people saying it was gonna be trash. It was gonna be trash, but I don't even see them no more, man. It's it's really I'm really happy that we actually just like getting stuff, especially for this game since we didn't receive information for a good minute for this game. Um, you know, going on for this game. But I appreciate all this information we're getting from them. Now, after Gamescom, we'll probably get way even more information about the game when the HD gameplay releases. So, you know, keep your fingers crossed. Keep your fingers crossed. But, um, yeah, that's the video for you guys today. Now, tell me what you guys think about Thor's Iron Man and Hulk and Captain America gameplay in the comments. So, we can have a discussion about it. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and have a good day.